What made Rome great? There were many factors, but certainly the most overlooked was the money system of the Roman Republic. About 300 BC, the Roman Republic supplied the people with a plentiful form of cheap money, money made from copper and bronze. Then they spent this cheap money into the economy. It was a revolutionary idea. Today, opponents of this money system call it fiat money, money not backed by precious metals. But what the Roman Republicans had discovered was that it doesn't matter what backs the money. All that matters is who controls its quantity. Did it work back then? It was amazingly effective. Unlike today, it was a money system created without debt to the government. This was the first great experiment in wresting the money power from the goldsmiths. This cheap form of money circulated for the benefit of all citizens equally, not just the usual gold coins, which always benefit the rich. With this new, plentiful supply of money, real wealth flowed to the common man. Without the use of either gold or silver, Rome became mistress of commerce of the world. Her people were the bravest, the most prosperous, the most happy, for they knew no grinding poverty. Her money was issued directly to the people and was composed of a cheap material, copper and brass, based alone upon the faith and credit of the nation. With this abundant money supply, she built her magnificent courts and temples. She distributed her lands among the people in small holdings and wealth poured into the coffers of Rome. But then, suddenly Julius Caesar changed the Roman money supply drastically. He started minting gold coins with his image on them. Then he declared himself emperor for life, putting an end to Rome's great experiment in elected government. The Republicans in the Senate hated gold money and the plutocracy, ruled by the rich, that it implied. Although the senators assassinated Julius Caesar, gold money now had taken root, empowered by the very rich and the dictators they were able to buy with their gold. After Caesar's assassination, copper and brass were demonetized, taken out of circulation. The quantity of money was reduced by 90%. A deep depression set in, the average person had to sell his property just to buy basic necessities. The wealth of the nation was quickly concentrated into the hands of the richest Romans once again. Gone was the incentive to work hard and build a great nation for the common good. By 401 AD, Rome was sacked by the Visigoths and humanity was plunged into the gloom of the Dark Ages.